biggest trading mistakes and how to fix them. So I've made a list of the, can't remember how many exactly, but basically the biggest trading mistakes that aren't normally talked about um, and how to fix them. So number one is asking for other traders opinion, whether this is, um, I'm not talking about advice here. I'm talking about an opinion on a chart, an opinion on whether GBP USD is going to go up or down, whether they should uh, get into a trade or get out of a trade. The only opinion that matters is your own or if you have a mentor. I would say that is the only opinion that matters whilst you're trading. Um, so that's the mistake and how do you fix it? You need to stop focusing on other people and start focusing on yourself because the moment that you switch the focus from what is GU doing to what am I doing you'll start to kind of um, self-reflect a little bit more and improve your trading in a different way because I say this all the time whenever someone comes into the live stream and says can you have a look at uh, USD CAD or can you have a look at AUDJPY for example um, I go over it of course but I always say me having a look at AUDJPY is not going to help you with your trading so stop focusing on other people's opinion about something and just improve just improve every single day the next mistake I see is emotional trade management. Now, this kind of links into another point as well, but I think that there's, there's a lot of traders out there that talk about emotional trading, but I think a lot of traders also think that emotional trading only means when you're entering a trade, not whilst you're in a trade and you're managing the trade, because you can um, you can put a trade on without emotion, risk too much, come back to it five minutes later, and when that when that's in the negative, then that's when the emotions come out and you start to um, trade emotionally. Um, so yeah, you did the right thing in terms of not trading emotionally to begin with, but then when you actually came back and that trade was in the negative, then you started to trade emotionally so that's the mistake and how do you fix it whatever you risk on your trade or whatever you think is the correct risk to use cut it in half so let's say let's say you're risking one and a half percent or one let's let's go one percent because that's what you know everyone talks about or two percent just cut it in half if, you, if you're if you're struggling to um not trade without emotion or manage that trade without emotion and you're risking one or two percent cut that in half and try again on the next trade and i guarantee you it's going to be a lot easier to manage that trade when you don't have as much on because you're not going to care as much about that because you're attached to the outcome the next mistake i see is Okay, this isn't a mistake. This is actually what you should do. Um, okay, hold on. Let me... Okay, there we go. Not looking after your mental health. So this is a mistake I see a lot. And it's kind of one of the main reasons why I set up Trade Happy. Um, because you have trading and you have happiness slash mental health. And trading is very, very, very stressful. And a lot of traders ignore it. A lot of traders push it aside because they just focus on the strategy. They focus on the outcome. They focus on the profit, the risk management, the psychology. But they completely ignore fitness, nutrition, mental health, depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. Um, so how do you fix it? Well, you need to focus on it. You need to work out. You need to eat healthy. You need to... Um, make sure that you're having time to uh, reflect, time
time to uh, relax and doing things that you know will take your mind off of trading and um, things that you enjoy pretty much so yeah there's obviously a lot to it so I can't really go into too much but this is how you fix um, that problem and yeah I think this is massive this is one of the main things I would say that traders need to focus on because everyone knows that you need a trading plan everyone knows that you need all that kind of stuff my next mistake is having no other income sources now this isn't really a mistake of not having enough money or not having other income sources directly but it's trading being your only income source and um, when you only have one or two income sources i.e. a job and trading your and all of your focus is on trading because that's what you want to do to get out of that nine to five all you're doing is, inf is focusing on trading and that can be good but when you actually trade live a hundred percent of the pressure of your kind of life and income and um, lifestyle whatever is coming from trading and when you do all of these mistakes that I'm talking about they all build up and they all kind of lead into one another but when you don't have something that kind of in the back of your mind you're thinking okay I have this other income source where I'm making x percent from that I know if I lose x percent today that's going to be covered and it kind of takes away the emotion away from trading because you you know you've got that covered almost and how do you fix it well it's pretty obvious you just develop other income sources I do have a video on developing income sources um, I'll put that in the little card it should pop up right now um, but yeah develop other income sources and it's pretty much as simple as that that's how you fix not having income sources so yeah the next mistake is unrealistic expectations this is a tough one because um, a lot of traders get into trading thinking that it's to get rich quick they'd say that they don't think it is but they think it is anyway um, and yeah they come in thinking that they can buy their Lambo in three years and they, they can get a mansion and a villa in five and you know all the rest of it and it's all just it's all just bollocks um, so how do you fix it don't believe everything you see if you believe a story or something on Facebook do you instantly believe it um, I'm hoping you say no um, there's probably some people thinking that yes I do but um, yeah don't believe everything you see because it's probably not true so when someone on Instagram is showing a Rolex and showing a Lambo and you know they say that they've been trading for four months just don't believe it um, just don't believe it it's not true so what's the point um, and this leads back to my first point of you're focusing on other people and not yourself so get rid of everything you, that you've ever seen about trading in terms of the results and profits and what you can buy and the lifestyle and just focus on the process of trading and focus on the process of getting better because it's going to take you years so you might as well just enjoy that process and not get overwhelmed with not um, not being where you want to be which also leads into this mistake which is they want they want to be able to have long-term profit but they have a short-term mindset and what I mean by this is you want you want to be able to have years and years and years and years of income of good income but you want it right now and you want it today or next week or next month or next year and it's just not going to happen you need to have a long-term mindset um, I guess I've kind of given away how you fix it but you develop that long-term mindset and you develop patience because obviously a lot of people will have patience when it comes to their trading strategy let's say you enter a trade 
and you have the patience to sit there and wait for that trade to develop but you don't have the patience to sit and wait for your actual um, trading capital to grow, for your knowledge to grow, for your patience to grow, for yourself to grow. Um, and if you don't give yourself time, all you're going to do is go back slowly to the people that are making quick money and say, why am I not making quick money? Get upset with yourself and go into that cycle of poor mental health. So yeah, that's why I'm saying all of these kind of go into each other, but these are some of the mistakes that I see over and over and over again, and these are mistakes that I had as well. Um, and obviously I do struggle with some of these still, and I'm not perfect, and I'm not kind of a perfect trader, um, but I, I understand that trading does take time, and it does take a long time to get good at. Um, so I hope you kind of enjoyed this. If you have any uh, questions or whatever, any other ideas that you want me to go over in terms of a video, just let me know. And uh, yeah, 